What is up everybody? I'm a Shopify developer from Germany and super often my clients ask me how to implement them custom footer sections like this one and it always means business for me and that is perfect but in reality you don't really need me and you don't need to pay expensive developers hourly costs from up to 50 to 100 dollars an hour and i'm going to show you in a couple easy steps how you can do this yourself and it's going to get implemented onto every side of your store so that one is really nice as well and that's it we just jump right into it because me and many other developers are using an app called section store and there you simply have to look for footer inside the top navigation bar and the one I've been using for this tutorial is, don't let me get this wrong, it's the footer 7. There we go, this one actually. And if you click on it, you can already see all the details about it. And like I said already, instead of having to pay hundreds of dollars for developers like me, you can get this for a one-time fee of $9, which is a pretty good deal. Also looking at the fact that you can customize everything, and that is how I'm going to show you now so just head back to the my sections area of the app where you can find a collection of all the sections you're already owning and simply add it to the theme you're using in my case it is the dawn live theme but it does work on every theme then open it up in the theme editor right here i've already done so that is the one you just briefly saw in the beginning of the video and now i want to show you how i did it so i scrolled all the way down to the footer section that does only work in theme 2.0s from shopify where you can implement it onto every page. And here simply click on add section and then type in footer and it should appear already. And yeah, I'm just gonna do some changes to this one to make it a bit easier for you. Here you can adjust all the paddings inside the block. So you can see it's getting a bit more space here. That text is changeable as well. So here you can see that it's getting updated live can even use a custom font here it's also possible you can simply pick it you can change the text here of course the whole thing is fully responsive i want to show you that as well it does look really lovely on mobile as well let's work back to a desktop and here we can adjust the roundness of the whole thing actually of the newsletter but i do think it looked pretty nice the way it was already and also the border thickness between items and that little gap is changeable too and we can also change this year. So I want to show you that too. Yeah, as you can see, getting updated live. This is working really lovely as well. And here we can change this as well. It's that little subscribe text button. Here we can pick a custom font as well. And we get that nice little view right there. And also everything else is fully customizable. If we scroll down a bit more, we can see all the font sizes inside that section are changeable and I think the best way to find out is just to play with it yourself and also adjust it to the guidelines of your brand. I'm pretty sure you have those and now we can see one last thing and now I want to walk you through all the colors you can change inside the block. So as you can see right here we have all the buttons so we could just pick white for the border color and the text is gray in the moment. Let's just change it to something a bit more poppy and yeah right now the heading is that maybe also change it to that orange so we have a bit more consistency and here you have all those other blocks so here we have your footer that is the one you see right here you can also just upload your logo in there that is also possible i just want to show you how that would look like so yeah that would get replaced but it's not optimized right now you want to pick a nice png image for that and here you can also change the font size and whatever you want this section to look like. Here you have all your quick links. In my case, it is the footer menu. And on that one, you have the socials and the heading as well, which is this at the moment. So you can just fill this with brand content or a nice little add-on. You just want to chuck in there. And if you click on add block, you have all those menu text and social options where you can link those buttons right here. And if you click on the socials, you can simply just chug in the Instagram link and the moment you fill it with a link, it's going to appear right here. And that was pretty much it. Let's have a final look at it in the live version. Give this a little reload and see if the changes we've done implemented. Yeah, you can see that got changed. Also the quick links right here. And here we get this changed as well. Yeah, that was pretty much it. Hope you guys found it useful. If you did, always feel free to leave a like and a follow. And with that being said, have a good one and peace out.